like, what what would your charge be to young conservatives? Of course, I'm a hunter. I ran for Congress as a Republican. God bless you. I went for it. I'm out of the church world, the faith world, right? That's how I right. grew up. Good. Um, yeah. What would your charge be to conservative young people? Well, you know, I you raise hell every day. I mean, you say charge. What would be my battle cry? Yeah. What's your battle um, cry? That you're not sheep. Yeah. You, God gave you an instinct, and you know when you go to bed at night if you didn't engage the enemy on any level, this lie of peer pressure. I mean, yeah. they tried to peer pressure me that drooling and puking, stumbling and dying was a party. <laughs> I don't have any peers, and no one's capable of pressure except Mrs. Nugent. <laughs> God gave you a middle <laughs> finger, use it. When someone says something stupid, your instinct will tell you it's stupid. Yeah. Lovingly expressed that you know it's stupid and you would help your friend by making the choice to turn down stupid, but you can't convince me to do stupid. I guess, you know, historically, my name is Rosa Parks. That's a human ass. That's a human seat. I'm putting my human ass on the human seat. Get out of my way. You give me an immoral command or a stupid order or an or a, a un unconstitutional rule, I will defy it. That's the spirit of America. And we're in the trouble we're in right now because people are like, okay, well, I suppose I should do that, it's the law. We've been bombarded with immoral, mm -hmm. anti-human, yeah. anti-instinct rules and regulations. And now we got the perfect president to represent the sheep-like behavior that we can yeah. browbeat back into. So I'm just a guitar player, but the most important message, <laughs> I've been clean and sober for 73 years. No drugs, no alcohol, no tobacco. I do chew on a Cuban when I shoot my machine gun. It just seems right. Um, but I've taken good care of my sacred temple. How about yeah. most young people have never heard the term sacred temple? Yeah. That's what this is. Yeah. Especially mine. Mm -hmm. um, especially Mrs. Nugent's. What a temple. I'm going to be genuflected at the temple here shortly. Um, your instincts will tell you when to stand again for good against evil. Yeah. Follow that instinct, even if you're ostracized mm -hmm. or peer pressured. Mm -hmm. Is that is that if that's not the foundational yeah. message of God's gift of life, independence, and, and spiritual intellectual decision making? Uh, I don't know what would be because every problem we have in America is because people blindly obey. Yeah. And again, if you graduate from the American anti-education system, you might want to go back and learn something and start with the Trail of Tears. Yeah. Maybe check out the Bataan Death March. Yeah. Or maybe the Rape of Nan King. Maybe Wounded Knee. Maybe Ruby Ridge. Yeah. Maybe the Branch Davidians. Yeah. And where evil slaughtered innocence. And so I saw an interview one time on English television where this lady got away from the monsters and they killed everybody while they were checking out the gorillas and they raped and murdered and dismembered people. And she goes, I, I can't believe that humans would do that to fellow humans. Really? You can't believe that. How stupid can you be? So you're not aware of evil stuff. Right. And they're not. Right. No evil. Don't dwell on it. You have to compartmentalize. You have to fight against evil, fight against evil, fight against evil, and then go fishing. Because if, you're, <laughs> if you don't use God's healing powers of yeah. nature to fortify your spirit, yeah. Then you're not going to be a good combatant yeah. against evil. Am I making sense? No, I love sense? that. I, I love, love this. I love that. I, I, for me, hunting, fishing, that, that's how I am. It's the spirit of the wild, and it will cleanse your soul. And your, you know, we talk, he's doing God's work. He's doing God's work. You know what doing God's work is? Killing deer and turning them into <laughs> family sized portions. This is, this is God's work. That is God's it's work. God's miraculous yeah. creation, and he sent it for us to right. utilize with reverence. I love that. It's. Me, I'm just a guitar player. And no, I that out. Give me a couple minutes on since we're here on the border. Uh, people really don't know what's going on. You, all your background in law enforcement and all that stuff. We have border patrol agents, FBI guys here, former ICE guys. Tell people what's really happening quickly. What, like how they can come away. There's two simple truisms. Without secure borders, you are not a nation. That's not a Ted Nugent hunch. That's not an opinion. Historically, it's irrefutable. If you don't have secure borders, you don't have a nation. Right. Number two, our government is so criminal and so corrupt that the evidence is inescapable. They are orchestrating the invasion of our country. They are taking our tax dollars 
to reward illegal invaders. I love immigration. My grandparents came from Sweden, learned to speak English, so they're in the asset column. America is the melting pot of immigration. Legal immigration. I'm a big fan of legal banking when you only withdraw from your account. I'm not a big fan of bank robbery. Right. And I'm a big fan and I celebrate and worship legal immigration where people come based on meritocracy. Right. Where they're dedicating themselves to be in the asset column instead right. of the liability column. Our government is rewarding the assault of liability right. mentality and committing the most glaring, obvious act of treason there can be. Yeah. Where the government who works for we the people, elected employees who took an oath to the Constitution, violating that oath on an hourly basis, right. orchestrating the invasion of my country? If that's not treason, what would be treason? And then taking our tax dollars, not only do they torture them every minute of the day and waste them every minute of the day with the bloated Fedzilla, but now they're taking our tax dollars and flying unknown invaders all across our country. Right. Right. Well, and, and and this is the thing, like there's a compassion justice element that's innate, right, in, in Gen Z and millennials. We want to help people. But 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 the issue is is what they're not seeing is the things that we've seen the last few days. The human trafficking, the smuggling, the drugs, and how how they're doping these kids up so oh they can God. smuggle them across the border. I mean, there's nothing more inhumane and in and, 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 and sinful, not compassionate. sinful yeah. than abusing innocent children with the lies of a better life and then enslaving them. And it's rampant. And the lying media is not telling America this because all Americans, regardless of party or affiliation or ethnicity or gender or race, if they see children enslaved and sex trafficking, they would stop it, but the media is so complicit with these right. evil forces right. in hiding this important information. The, the enlightenment is expanding because of people like you and the hell that is being raised by people who are yeah. so offended and angry yeah. at such a sin. What, yeah. what, what is a worse sin than taking an innocent child and sexually enslaving them? That's insane. So it's rampant. People don't see it, so they like to pretend it's not happening. Right. It's happening. We need to fight against that. We need to find, uh, you know, people running for office, candidates who stand up for God, family, country, Constitution, Bill of Rights, the Ten Commandments, the right. Golden Rule. That's the foundation of the greatest quality of life in the history of mankind, and it's only foundational in the United States of America. It's worth fighting for. And the evil forces are so obvious. Yeah. It's like Tucker Carlson is getting cockroach spotlighter of the year and Jesse Waters and you and me and people in the in the conservative talk media. I have a spirit campfire and my whole life is dedicated to spotlighting cockroaches and then celebrate fishing. <laughs> because again, <laughs> you're only gonna be as good of a warrior right. yeah. as you are healthy, right, balanced, right, and get good sleep, which I plan on this week at some point. Uh, so so I'm just a guitar player, but I've been a force to reckon with, and I have immeasurable love of good, good families all across this country. Yeah. Because I say what they're literally not allowed to say at the workplace or in school. Yeah. I speak truth, logic, and common sense, and it's irrefutable. It's not opinions. It's evidence drenched. It's historical, glaringly obvious, unless you graduate from an American anti-education <laughs> And they've already got you. Yeah. So stand up for what you La need. Last, and last your instincts will teach you more than school ever will. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. There's an inner. There's an inner conviction. I sure. feel like the spirit people are coming, stepping into. Yeah, there's the spirit. spirit. There's a spirit. Um, last thing. This is called Hold the Line podcast. What does Hold the Line mean to you? Hold the Line means a guitar player from Detroit that everybody thought should smoke dope and get drunk, and I held my line. I stood up against the lies of peer pressure and I followed the discipline of my dad, a drill sergeant, the U.S. Army Cavalry in World War II. God bless the great man. And my family, my brother, my sister, my wife, Shemaine, my children, my grandchildren, my dad, my crew, they are rock solid disciplinarians that put their heart and soul into being the best that they can be. And if you call upon those gifts, you will hold the line. Come on. That's it, baby. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank God for the yellow poppers. <laughs> <laughs>